Good afternoon everybody, what's going on? Today's review now brings us here to get a glimpse of the all-new 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport SE All-Wheel Drive. Our review today has brought us here to Don Herring Mitsubishi of Irving, Texas. With all of that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Outlander Sport, and this entails a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and interesting styling cues and features of the overall exterior as well as interior. And so, bearing all this new information in mind, let's go ahead and fire up the engine, see how she runs. This particular Outlander Sport wears the cosmic blue metallic exterior. This particular vehicle is also equipped with Mitsubishi's Fast Key Smart Key Entry System, which allows complete remote free access into the vehicle along with a standard push button ignition. Gaining entry is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person, a prime example being here in my pocket. And as you can see at the current moment, I have the vehicle unlocked. Then both the locking and unlocking is done through the small black button integrated into the side of the door handle. So simply press it once, one beep indicates locking, and two beep indicates unlock. This vehicle has a fully decked out black cloth interior, complete with the interior package, which includes a small portion of black piano veneer trim as well as a special shifter knob for the transmission. Now to start this Outlander Sport, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake while keeping the key fob within the vehicle and simply locate and hit the engine start button to start the engine. Beautiful sounding motor. You get a uniquely shaped three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel, nice and tight power assisted steering, typical of all wheel drive cars. The Outlander Sport uses an electronically controlled CVT or continuously variable automatic transmission. As you can see in this case, as I mentioned, it does have the interior package which includes the aluminum and leather wrap shifter knob. Beautiful. Only the driver's side window is automatic in both directions. That beeping has indicated that the smart key fob has now left the vehicle. The new Outlander Sport features a two liter dual overhead cam 16 valve inline four cylinder engine combined with Mitsubishi's legendary MyVex system, which stands for Mitsubishi Innovative Valve Timing Electronic Control, designed to provide high-end horsepower and low-end torque while still providing maximum fuel efficiency. Case in point, this particular vehicle puts out 148 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. EPA fuel economy estimates for the all-wheel drive version of the Outlander Sport SE are 24 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway on regular or premium unleaded gasoline. Let's get a quick taste of that little inline four cylinder engine and see what kind of soundtrack it produces. It's got a very peppy little note to it. Beautiful sounding motor altogether. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. You do have the option of them being automatic, as well as turn on the fog lights and the hazard lights as usual. 
now let's take this opportunity to explore the exterior of the Outlander Sport. Chrome bezeled high intensity discharge projector beam headlights. With the Outlander Sport, you can really see a lot of both the Lancer and current generation Outlander's blood in it. Styling cues including this trapezoidal shaped front grille, a signature feature on many of the new Outlanders as well as the new Lancer. Other styling cues taken from both the Lancer and Outlander include these 18-inch forged aluminum alloy wheels, One other piece of information worth mentioning is the fact that here in America is the only place where you will find this vehicle named the Outlander Sport. In Europe and overseas, it's known as the Mitsubishi ASX, and even further overseas in Japan, it's actually known as the Mitsubishi RVR. Although this vehicle does not currently have it, sunroofs are an, are an additional option. Single aluminum tipped exhaust. These taillights are not LEDs, rather than, four, rather than a bunch of circular lenses with one light hidden behind. Rear heated defrosting glass, as well as an optional large rear deck lid spoiler with optional third LED brake light. Aluminum fuel filler door with surround and also the engraved Mitsubishi insignia. Monochromatic paint matched mirrors. actually quite an extremely nice looking car. Although it may look big on camera, it's actually a lot smaller than you would think. That being said, it is also extremely comfortable inside. And with that being said, now that we've seen the exterior portion of the Outlander Sport, now we get to take a look at the interior. As I said, this has the interior package with the full black cloth interior, along with minor black piano veneer trim, Standard checkered style front insert. Both the driver and passenger seats are fully manual adjustable. With that being said, however, you do get plenty of powered amenities including power mirrors, power door locks, window locks, automatic one touch driver side window in both directions, as well as the rest of the power windows.
This particular vehicle was a former demonstration unit, thus it has 5,109 miles already on its odometer. This one has the optional Mitsubishi multi-communication system, which includes navigation and active traffic updates. Down here you have your different all-wheel drive control, including your standard two-wheel drive, regular four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive with a lock differential. Not exactly sure you can see that, but there you go. Switch it back to two-wheel drive just for the time being. As you can see, the aftermarket Mitsubishi shifter knob is part of the interior package as well. And just above that, you have your controls for your single zone climate control system. Over here on the left, you, if you press the button, you have the air conditioning recycling. And if you turn the knob, you can change the temperature. This one here in the center is your automatic air conditioning. Simply turn it to the left. Or you can turn it off and turn it into a manual fan override. And over here on the right, you have your different climate zones with an automatic climate zone setting as well as a rear defroster. And also pressing this button here in the center will introduce maximum air conditioning. The multi-communication system it displays a wealth of information. If we press OK, it turns into our navigation map. You can then switch to your audio settings. In this case, we've been selected as part of the um, iPod integration setting which is simply done by pressing the open button. And you have your iPod integration right here. You also have your navigate navigation disc that goes right behind here, as well as an integrated CD player. So we simply select mode, and you can select your different radio stations. Hey, thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. Don't forget tomorrow, the new... And you also have your different trip computers and things like that. You can switch to your air conditioning settings, mobile phone integration, different support info, and also different environmental climates, different maintenance schedules. Now the environment setting is something that's actually really neat. You have an active altimeter, barometer, outside temperature, and other different navigation and other climate settings. You have your different vehicle position, which can give you lateral or latitude and longitude settings. Quite a highly advanced system is what this communication system is. It's really awesome. All in all, the communication system in this car is absolutely wonderful. Also, the materials for the interior do not feel cheap whatsoever. They feel very nicely screwed together. The seats are a bit firm to sit on, but then again, like many seats in many different cars, they do get a little softer as they age. But then again, it feels very nice and soft. And again, like I said, very well screwed together. You have your door lights, different reading lights. And also illuminated vanity mirrors. One last note here is that here on the steering wheel, you also do have your volume controls, cruise control settings, as well as your hands-free Bluetooth settings as well. And just over here to the left, you also have your traction control and instrument dimming gauge. Quite an interesting looking Mitsubishi. Certainly something unique to come out of their collection. But even with that in mind, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. And while we're still here in this position, this little tab right here will actually come off. I can't do it right now because it's one-handed. But you also do have an integrated key blade that can be pulled out of the bottom of the key and can be used to unlock the doors as well. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the Outlander Sport. It's a 
five passenger vehicle with a third row bench seat, or second row, excuse me. Now as far as legroom goes, as with many cars, it depends on how far or how how far forward or how far back the driver's seat actually sits. In this case, we don't actually have quite a lot of legroom back here because you, as you can see, my knees are firmly punched into the driver's back. But if your driver happened to be a little bit on the shorter side, you could actually move the seat forward and thus allow yourself a little bit more legroom. As is the same way on the passenger side as well. You also do have a fully padded center console, which includes dual cup holders, as well as a small door for your longer storage items. Maybe things like skis or ski poles or something of that nature. Now as loaded out as this Outlander Sport is, the one thing it does not come with on any trim level is a power assisted lift gate, nor does it come with a trunk button on the remote. But that doesn't matter because you've got a touch pad, it simply pops the trunk. In here we can see the Outlander Sport embroidered floor mats, along with the 60-40 split fold rear seats, which are activated by just simply pushing down on the tab. And of course you have to fold the headrest in for them to fold all the way flat, which you pretty much get the idea of how they work. You've also got extra storage underneath for your spare tire. And also for the interior, you have blue lights up here on the trunk, as well as underneath the footrest areas in the front of the car. Oops, actually just closed the seat belt in there, but we'll get that here in a moment. Again, manually adjustable passenger seat. You also have these metallic silver trim pieces as well. It gives a nice touch to the interior, as well as chrome accented door handles. You also have your different reading information, such as your handbooks and other disclaimers and things like that. Very nice vehicle overall. Well done, Mitsubishi. So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the all new 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport SE all wheel drive. If you wish to contact Don Herring Mitsubishi about this particular vehicle or any of the others you may have seen in the background of this video, please feel free to do so at donherringofirving.com or come visit them off of East Airport Freeway in Irving, Texas. Till then guys, have a great day. We'll see you guys later.